Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Timber and Stone. We're at episode number 24, and before I can really bring you in here, we got a new arrival here. She's actually gone down below, so I'm rapidly spamming the button, there we go, to lower the terrain here. Now, where did she go off to? I just saw a face over here. Is this her? That's Shirley. Where'd she go? Where did she go? That's probably her right there. There we go. Laura has arrived, so we definitely got to get a new name in here. Let's bring that up really quick. Laura, we're switching you out for what appears to be Emma. So, Emma, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back to the TS Fold, Timber and Stone. So, yes, where was I? What was I doing? I was just about to bring you guys in here. <laughs> so, no, there's a new member. Uh, let's see, that puts us at currently 17 people. Now, there's a ton of different things that I still would like to get done. A lot of things that we would like to have built. Obviously, we finished our workshop and everything, and have that going as the sun setting. But let me kind of reorganize everything. I just want to let you know right off the bat that we got a new member as we got things started. But um, I kind of need to do a little bit of cleanup and rearranging of some things. And then we will pick it up in the morning. Okay, so I got some people moving around and different things going on. And we have a spider epidemic. They keep popping up all over the place. <laughs> Fortunately, we can take care of them very easily but um let's kind of spin back around here you can see i'm getting scaffolding going up here now some of you had mentioned maybe digging out the tree here and the at the edge of the building would allow me to put the blocks back in up here and what happened was i actually ended up planting two trees right over here and at the same time one did pop up right here at the edge of the building so i had somebody come over here and take it out and as soon as that got taken out I was able to put these blocks in there so anyway we had a tree that must have been trying to grow even though there was really no indication that was going to happen but um, once I guess I just needed to allow it to pop up vis visually as a sapling then I chose to remove it and now we can get those blocks in but of course to get up there we're gonna have to make some scaffolding I've got that going on let's go ahead and start this back up so we can climb up there and finish those blocks out now I've got kind of a project in mind here what we need to do next I think and that is we've got these really crappy beds out here just four of them too so not enough for everybody by any means and I want to make some nicer beds and we can fortunately we can make some nicer beds but that would require a good place to put them I don't want to just stick them outside or anything so we're gonna to have to take care of that let's see is this more looks like it's more spider stuff so we have to make a building in order to do that we're gonna to have to decide where to do this now part of me thought well if i build it in this area where i currently have the town hall um, in this little corner i could do an extension of this room or this the workshop essentially maybe make it a little taller maybe two floors uh, maybe just one floor and it's just their um the barracks essentially so uh i've got options but i'm not really sure which to go with yet um additionally we can make a separate building over here I had also talked about putting a building out here, um, uh, kind of extend some of the deck out here and put a building on the corner, but obviously we haven't got around to that. Wood has just been so slow going that I haven't been gaining it and making uh, the planks enough to fill this in, so I've kind of got that on a back burner right now. I guess I keep hoping that a trader will come into town that I can buy the seedlings from a plant a bunch of trees, but... Um, Anyway, I don't know. It could be that we need to assign a bunch of people to do that. You can see we're getting we're stacking up a number of uh, people here that are idle with not much to do. Some of them, though, I'm keeping. Um, for example, I think Raven I've got always on blacksmith. Um, obviously, we have Jay here. You can see he's set to be herding now. I decided to get more of that going because I really need to make more arrows. But um, let me also show you something else while I'm mentioning arrows because obviously we did a lot of archer stuff last time. But you can see that we got Porthos at six. CJ at 5 as far as archer skill goes, um, Axel's at 4, Jay's at 4, so we've got a number of archers now, a number of capable archers. Uh, Porthos and Weem are currently the only full-time archers, but that is going to change. I know I mentioned at some point maybe making some kind of um, tower, something on this side. Um, I think I still might do that, I'm just not entirely sure yet. And I'm realizing that my scaffolding doesn't reach over here, that's part of this problem. <laughs> Let's actually do that really quick. Um, let's see, make sure this is uh, something like that. There we go. Now we can actually get up there. Finish that roof. So yeah, trying to decide where to put a building. Where to put a building for the barracks. Um, 
Let's see, we don't have a ton of real estate inside. Part of me was thinking that I might move the farm and build something kind of in this area. Basically allow um, this kind of pathway that goes along the workshop here and then, you know, in essentially. But for the rest of this area, pretty much where all the farm is, um, put a building. That's an idea anyway. We keep getting hit up with a spider message. I'm not sure it's the right one though. I don't see any other message here. Let me scroll this a little bit. No. Okay, I guess we'll just take a peek around. There is a live spider right there. Not too big a deal. Weem took care of a spider earlier. I think it's just spiders though. Not too concerned about that. Okay, so yes. We have to decide where to put the building, but in the meantime, let me take care of a couple other things. Some of you left some, well, you guys have been leaving comments in all of the videos, really, but I actually uh, took some of those down and wanted to address some of them really quick. Um, Gerard says that I should add a tool chest as well, close to your workers. Um, he had a question mark on that, but that was probably a good idea. I did put the food uh, boxes up here. Hit play again there. We do have the food uh, crate so they don't have to go down, but it is true that if they're working at one thing and then need to switch and do something else, they are going to have to go downstairs for the toolbox. I did put this guy, I think this is just armor though. Yeah, armor storage. So I should probably have a toolbox or two up here um, in the workshop. Keep getting that pause there. So let's see, um, let's go with construction. This is going to be not construction, objects. <laughs> Storage tools, tool chest, right? Three timber, pretty easy. I think we'll do one here. And I should have held shift on that. And we'll do one maybe on this wall over, I guess that's not that far away. Let's see, do I have room here? I do have room right there. Although those guys will be working pretty much with the wood. It's probably not a big deal. Let me just put one here, just inside. And then I have the crates by the doors. I'm also realizing that I don't have uh, food storage here, so these guys are basically having to carry their stuff downstairs as well, so I should put something else in there. Um, maybe I'll put a tool... You know what? I think that's probably fine. I think the one just inside is good enough for anybody working out here, at least until we decide what to do about the building, so... Yeah, now, uh, Lom had said they will probably just walk through the windows to get to the forge. That was kind of another comment I was looking at. It is true, they're going to walk right through there. It's going to be pretty easy for them to do so. Um, but it would be nice if we could get something cool in there. Now, over here I did these um, the fence so that I could kind of fill that up. But obviously I couldn't end up putting a block inside there because the fence is, it kind of counts as going into that area. So I didn't really do that on this side. But as Corbald mentioned... Um, he said it's looking great. Hope they add glass blocks soon. Something to make those windows legit would be great. Yeah, glass blocks would be awesome. Could be coming. I don't know if they are, um, but that would be cool. Not necessarily required, but yeah, that, that would be pretty cool. So we keep getting these messages about the spiders. I know they're trying to be helpful. It'd be nice to turn off certain warnings to basically say, you know what, I'm not worried about spiders anymore. Can we just, <laughs> can we just stop... Uh, worrying about that but um that's fine that's fine got all kinds of spiders out here i probably should set somebody to forage in the meantime um let's bring this up and click through people really quick forager four that might actually be the best one right there Lom, send Lom out there yeah let's do that why don't you go forage um let's see we don't need anything too crazy though let's just go ahead and do um Loot dead and dispose of the dead. Although, I think you could gather seedlings if I also have you do something else here too. Like, I think it was berries. Or somebody mentioned berries and tree chopping, but let's do that. We'll gather berries. Why not? We'll see if we can get some more of those in. Okay, so... That's going to take care of the toolbox. We probably need to set somebody to that. A carpenter full-time. I don't know that I have somebody set full time now. Joe is our main, our main carpenter. We'll have him do that. So there we go. There we go. Now uh, another comment. I'm gonna mispronounce your name. I'm sure, but I'm gonna go with Ira Vega. <laughs> Ira Vega has said that we put food crates in bunkers so they don't have to leave their post to eat. Now, I do have uh, food here. You can see it's just down the steps. I do it on both sides too. 
uh, for their bunkers just inside. So I think we're good there. Um, I don't recall if your comment came before or after I did that. It did, it did seem like it came after, but anyway, I thought that if I actually put it on the same level right here with the archers, uh, there's only two blocks here tall to stand in. So if I put a crate here that takes up a two by two spot, that's an area an archer can't walk to. He can't stand on it because there's no room to stand on top. And I felt like it would really kind of block their you know mobility within that kind of confined space. So I put it down at the bottom of their steps. I think that's pretty good. Again, I've got more of those around. You know, one at the um, one at the door here, and I put one at this door uh, right there, right by the uh, archery station. So I. Th feel like we're good there. I think we're good there. Uh, let's see. Opposing forces told me that I should dig down to the spot where the tree was, so that has been taken care of as we mentioned before. That's, that uh, sapling spawned and uh, I was able to chop that down. And yeah, there you go. You can see that we now have the, uh, the wood in there, so we're all set. I can actually take that scaffolding down. More spider pausing. <laughs> Okay, and then the last comment I actually wanted to bring up here was Gregory. He said, I was just looking at your pond surrounded by wood, and I don't know why, but it just didn't look quite right. I thought field stone would look better by giving it a natural touch, kind of like moss stone. Would you consider putting that in? I told him that I would. I would try to remember to do that, and I am remembering. So you know what? Just for you, I'm going to actually go through here and take all of this out. Um... It was kind of weird looking and I had a mismatch of wood there too, a little mistake I made earlier. But yes, for you, I will go ahead and tear all of this out and we'll see what that looks like. Um, something like, oops, kind of get all this selected. They can dig this out. We got tons of people mining, so they'll get up here and start tearing this out. And then we'll get some field stone in there once we've got it all removed. Okay, Gregory, there you go. We've got the field stone coming in, and yeah, that does look pretty good. Um, I was kind of thinking more, it was more like a dock kind of area around that, but it being as thin as it is there, yeah, it did look a little weird. This probably is better. Um, so there you go, that's coming in. And you may have noticed a message at the bottom. We're currently paused because we have a trader coming in. So that's very cool. I'm gonna go ahead and select this, see where he's at, and there we go. So we're finally getting this in. This is going to be great. Let's go ahead and find out who our best trader is. Looks like it's probably Joe with six. Let's go ahead and select Joe and have him uh, go wait over here for the merchant. This is going to be excellent. See what we can get as everybody continues working. So I've been thinking still about the um, the barracks, about where to put that. and I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Another route we can actually go is to put it underground. Uh, to dig out an area. It could be uh, maybe right here in the middle. I could dig this out, put a basement essentially, and then have a floor above it. And then it could be just a single floor building that's for more storage maybe, but they sleep underneath. But um, I don't know. That's just an option. One of the things about that is that I kind of like the idea of them actually being able to sleep like at ground level in a house versus like, hey, we're confined to the basement to sleep. But uh, <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Something to think about. All right, so there he is. He's coming around the back side. Let me try and do this really quick. I'm going to try and take out the scaffolding. And didn't get uh, too much of a chance there. That did work, though. So that's good. Okay, cool. Let me make sure. I just want to see. Did I leave any scaffolding? No. Okay. So what are we looking at here? The merchant was willing to buy half of our raw stone, essentially, for 23 coin. Now, I put that up for sale because we had so much of it and we're obviously mining out more. I think I am going to go ahead and sell that because I'm not using it as fast as I'm gaining it down in the mines. Now, I do want to make another uh, structure perhaps of some kind, but I think that's still plenty of stone. So let's go ahead and sell that chunk. We'll bring that down. Very easy for us to get more of that, so I'm not too concerned. Looks like everybody is here watching uh, the deals go down. <laughs> We're gonna decline on the uh, on the flax. I did have that for sale, but um, yeah, we're gonna hang on to that. We shall hang on to that. And while he considers that, I'm gonna be thinking about where to put this thing. So he's willing to buy cotton. I'm gonna actually decline on that. We're gonna use that for beds. Um, it's 20 a pop, so we can only do maybe seven of the really nice beds. So I might do, Seven might actually be okay because it covers not quite half, but not half kind of sleep at one time. So seven beds might be good enough, but obviously we're going to need all of that cotton. 
So let's see what else he has here. I really wouldn't mind some seeds, some seedlings, or actually some new kinds of seeds to farm with. That would be kind of cool. But I definitely want to get some tree planting at some point. I may even kind of do a secondary wall kind of surrounding an area that would be like a tree farm. So I don't... Oh, look at that. 204 coin though? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> what a bummer. Why has it got to be so much? Why can't you sell me half? I know this has come up before. Uh, I really do like the idea of that. I hate that they have to go out there, but you know what? I just don't think it's worth spending all of my money on that. It's a big chunk of gold, and obviously I can make more. I've got gold, um, so I can, I can make more money, but that's okay. So he is willing to sell uh, copper, and I did add that. I thought, okay, let me add copper, uh, because obviously we could use more in the making of different kinds of armor and everything, different tools and things of that nature. Um, I'm actually really considering this because what this would let, let us do as well is somebody can, uh, we could take a level three blacksmith, for example, and have them just start cranking out that copper, which will bring them up. So we aren't just relying on Raven just in case something happened. Um, we can see that, you know, we've got a couple people over there uh, with three blacksmithing. So we could work somebody up and have a secondary one. That's a bunch of money though. Um, so, oi, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass on that, but that is why, just to explain why I put copper on there, it's kind of a, something to think about, I kind of wanted to see what the price would be on that, so, selling nine ingots for a good chunk of what we have, we're going to go ahead and pass on that, um, when it comes to those, I want to actually be making those, definitely get our skills up and everything, I'm trying to get Raven to 13, and I, I forgot what it is, but there's something at 13, uh, that uh, he can do. And that was the bars themselves. I did throw those on as well. You got anything, anything interesting? I don't know what I would actually be taking right now that I've put up here willing to purchase. I'm not sure what I would be grabbing. Seedlings were the big thing, but I didn't anticipate he'd be trying to sell me so many of them. Uh, 42 animal height at 168. I'm gonna pass on that. Okay, we need somebody doing stonemason stuff here. Let's throw a loam on that. Or actually, he's forging. Uh, bring Weem in on that. Let's bring Nuboff farming. He can go make some tools while we wait.